Matthew McConaughey has long been known for his charismatic charm, laid-back demeanor, and iconic roles in films like Dazed and Confused and Dallas Buyers Club. But in recent years, the Oscar-winning actor has found himself increasingly at odds with the prevailing culture in Hollywood. Do you think you could get elected in Texas being anti-gun? Do I think I could get elected in Texas being anti-gun? One thing about if, if me and politics is to give you a direct statement right there is yeah. playing a game that I'm not interested in playing. Okay. To don't, give you a direct statement right there. We're a nation, we're a world that cheers louder when our opponent misses a shot than we are happy when we make a shot. <laughs> that's, that's not the way forward. I think we can see. Matthew McConaughey burst onto the scene in the early 1990s with his breakout role as David Wooderson in Dazed and Confused. His easygoing Texas drawl and natural screen presence quickly made him a fan favorite. I will see you there, all right? Bye. I love those redheads, man. Throughout the late 90s and 2000s, McConaughey became one of Hollywood's go-to leading men for romantic comedies. Films like The Wedding Planner, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, and Failure to Launch cemented his status as a bankable movie star. But even as his career soared, McConaughey maintained a connection to his Texas roots and traditional upbringing. He often spoke about the values instilled in him by his parents and his small-town background. In the early 2010s, McConaughey made a conscious choice to reinvent his career and take on more serious dramatic roles. This reconnaissance led to critically acclaimed performances in films like Mud, Dallas Buyers Club, and the TV series True Detective. McConaughey won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in Dallas Buyers Club in 2014. In his acceptance speech, he thanked God and spoke about his faith, a rarity in Hollywood award shows. First off, I want to thank God, because that's who I look up to. He has graced my life with opportunities that I know are not of my hand or any other human hand. Throughout his career, McConaughey has been open about his Christian faith and traditional values. He regularly attends church and has spoken about the importance of God in his life. In interviews, McConaughey has said, I believe in God. I've always believed in God. I don't know how not to believe in God. Faith is a big part of my life. It's a part of my family's life. It's a part of my children's lives. <laughs> and I won't throw any people under the bus, but I have had uh, moments where I was on stage receiving an award in front of my peers in Hollywood. And there were people in the crowd that I have prayed with before dinners many times. And when I thank God, I saw some of those people go to clap, but then notice that, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, it's going to be a bad thing on my resume, and then sit back on their hands. <laughs> this outspoken faith has sometimes put him at odds with the largely secular culture of Hollywood. While many celebrities shy away from discussing religion, McConaughey has made it a central part of his public persona. McConaughey married model Camilla Alves in 2012, and the couple has three children together. He often speaks about the joys of fatherhood and the importance of family. In 2014, McConaughey and his family moved from Malibu to Austin, Texas. He said the move was motivated by a desire to be closer to his roots and raise his children with traditional values. This decision to leave Hollywood and return to his home state was seen by some as a rejection of the entertainment industry lifestyle. While McConaughey has generally avoided partisan politics, some of his statements have put him at odds with the largely liberal Hollywood establishment. He criticized what he called the illiberal left for their intolerance of differing viewpoints. He said, there are a lot of people on that illiberal left that absolutely condescend, patronize, and are arrogant towards the other 50%. These comments drew backlash from some progressive activists and celebrities who viewed them as an attack on liberal values. McConaughey has also expressed skepticism about cancel culture and political correctness. He's argued for more nuanced discussions of complex issues rather than knee-jerk reactions. In the wake of the 2022 school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, McConaughey became an outspoken advocate for gun reform. He met with lawmakers and gave an impassioned speech at the White House calling for action. While his stance on gun control aligned more closely with liberal positions, McConaughey framed the issue in terms of responsible gun ownership rather than banning firearms altogether. This nuanced approach drew criticism from both the left and right. He publicly considered a run for governor before ultimately deciding against it. His flirtation with politics highlighted the unique position McConaughey occupies, a celebrity with broad appeal who doesn't fit neatly into partisan categories. As McConaughey has become more outspoken about his values and beliefs, 
His relationship with the Hollywood establishment has grown more complicated. Some industry insiders have privately expressed frustration with McConaughey's willingness to criticize what he sees as liberal excesses in Hollywood culture. There are concerns that his views could limit his future roles and opportunities. Matthew is incredibly talented, but some people in Hollywood are wary of working with him now. There's a fear that he could say something controversial and create a PR headache. McConaughey himself has acknowledged feeling somewhat out of step with the prevailing Hollywood culture. In his memoir, Green Lights, he wrote, I have found myself out of step with some of the prevailing winds in my industry at times, but I try to stay true to my values and what I believe, even if it's not always the popular stance. While it's difficult to draw a direct line between McConaughey's outspokenness and his career trajectory, there are signs that it may be impacting the roles he's offered. McConaughey's film appearances have become less frequent in recent years. Some speculate this could be due to his move away from Hollywood or changing audience tastes. But others wonder if there's a connection to his willingness to buck industry norms. There's definitely a sense that Matthew might be a wild card. Some filmmakers love that about him, but others are hesitant. In today's climate, studios are very risk averse. While McConaughey may face some pushback within Hollywood, he maintains a strong fan base that appreciates his authenticity and willingness to speak his mind. On social media, many fans express admiration for McConaughey's values and praise him for not conforming to Hollywood expectations. Despite any behind-the-scenes tension, McConaughey continues to work on high-profile projects. In 2023, McConaughey released a children's book titled Just Because. The book aims to teach kids about nuance and avoiding black and white thinking, themes that align with McConaughey's own worldview. He said of the book, I wanted to write something that gives young people permission to be themselves, to think for themselves, and to not feel like they have to fit into any one box. This focus on independent thinking and resisting peer pressure reflects McConaughey's own approach to navigating Hollywood. While some in Hollywood may be wary of McConaughey's outspokenness, others admire his willingness to stand apart from the crowd. In an industry often criticized for valuing conformity over individuality, Matthew McConaughey stands out as a true original, for better or worse. Judge him for it. I just wish, you know, that, 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 that it seems like a silly argument. There's people, some people in our industry, not all of them, but this, there's some that go to the left so far as uh, our friend Jordan Peterson, who's back, um, saw his video being back, that go to the illiberal left side so far that is so condescending and patronizing to 50% of the world that need the empathy that the liberal side gives and should give. Throw somebody's, illegitimize them because they say they are a believer. It's just so arrogant.